same thing you can do oh it looks so stunning everyone it looks like a pearly look and you can go back more than just one time it's like a metallic look and there's gonna be a lot of um unicorns the newest unicorns pigments uh, chromes I'm doing like three or four or five times. It doesn't matter how many times do you want. And make sure you let it set first. Usually we're doing right on the mat, but we did chromes first so then you can see the look of it. So the light, and now I'm going to thinking green number eight. Do it again. we have that um, I'm gonna just probably doing it four times as well stunning and this one is so easy to use and for all of you who is beginners um, and we have so many even until today we still have a lot of questions regarding to uh, how to keep your fusionings nicely and looks nice vein like you usually show us instead of looks bleeding uh, to the colors. So I will show you the tip and trick. Uh, crystal clear, that's all you need. And just a piece of papers. So I'm gonna do is wipe off all of crystal clear and basically you don't have much on yours. And wait until this one is dry. So then you can create the veins for this. Wipe it off first. You see that little extra green there? If we put it right into crystal clear, that's how crystal clear has got contaminating. And um, it's bringing it back to the bottles. That's how it's getting really contaminating and is gonna make your look of your marble nails like kind of um, bleeding so I'm gonna add it this one great you want more you can always add it more it looks so stunning though I'm gonna do just a little bit right there great looks stunning so I'm gonna using that's a crystal clear so it's great perfect for even the beginners or the um, nail tech who've been doing the nails for a long time and you want to add it on some services or some new techniques so don't offer it up to do the marble nails so I'm gonna put some veins on it golden touch and black I love this too colors come by together or you can do a chan for foy as well but I'm gonna do it right here next to you this one just in case you were asking for what it is because sometimes I get it off from the screen I didn't see it so just a little bit dip it in and just give it a little bit of soft and touch on yours uh, brush he saw Instagram I'll be right back. Hello, Instagram. Thank you so much for being back. Hope everyone doing great today. Happy Tuesday. Next time I will share it, how you can do a fusioning and drawing. I think I did drawing the flowers like a while ago. 
but we can absolutely do it again with the fusioning. I did it draw and like, okay, great. Skier for 60 seconds. You know, you can flash gear for 30 seconds and I'm gonna doing this, um, the gold, golden touch on it. Great. Hey Brad, watching on Facebook. I'm gonna wipe my brush off really good. Russ, can you share the code, code in there for the discount code on Facebook? This I'm using a gel painting jet black. Just a little stripes. Um, this gives a long way and it looks make it look so uh, much of you know like three dimensional. Um, thank you, Sherry. It's a wonderful. It's great because it's so compact. I know it's been with me for a long time. You know, so good to see you. Great, so let me go in to pick up some of Golden Touch. Also, we have a lot of you asking for the Golden Touch. This is really pigmented and we move it closer. Super, and it's so consistency. Okay. I'm gonna give it just a little bit. And you don't have to do it too much, just a little bit. Just let the tin tip brush pick up just a small amount and you can go soft and look on it. And if you want really dramatic, you can do more, I guess. Great. Gear for another 30 seconds. Flash gear. There's a golden touch. Wipe off my brush and clean it with uh, no wipe top coat and wipe it off. So try not to use any uh, alcohol or acetone as it's going to ruin your brush. I'm going to use this on that. No white top coat. Oh, I'm sorry. Not no white top coat yet. Condensed glue gels first, and then we'll no white top coat. So let uplines completely on. Tie the nails because I don't know where I'm going to place them and know where I'm going to place, but just in case sometime you know me, I would just like add more. And. But it's really thin layers. You don't have to worry about it too thick. Great. That's all I need. I don't need the whole lot. But you want to just blend them out because they have thick density. So, And now we're going to go to no wipe top coat. This no wipe top coat will, with condensed glue gels, will really um, grip the base of dragon scales or crystals. Charm and chains in nice place. Just giving a floating techniques on the top. Even if you want it by itself like that, it looks so stunning. Let me see if I can get that. It looks like it's so bright though. <coughs> okay. So, how do you do this? You see, we still have a lot of clients who are asking for this, which is great because this is the new colors of Dragon Scale. I really love it. It's the best way to do it, to get the center if you want to do all and tie the nails, which is I'm not doing it in this one because they're so beautiful with the marble look underneath. So I'm going to do a few of them. And 
just do a spy first and then you can do it the next like on the side left side or the right side together you can also do two of two different colors um i have a client that did like so many colors it doesn't just like a lot tall colors in uh the dragon scale for her special occasion so and you can do two one doesn't matter this one looks so stunning And now I'm going to using some AB. One of my really cute bars that I really like it. A little bit right there. It's a little bit long, but I like that. So I am going to using my... You can do more on Dragon Scale, but I just want a few few of them on it because if you do more it's gonna cover my beautiful fusion in underneath this is still able to show beautiful designs also still see what's underneath what's in the background so then shape a little bit cool though a big one I'm going to find a little one. I'm using it, by the way, I'm using it from the B collection. My B collection. We did a, a really cool, like three, four techniques in here that we did ombre underneath you see you seeing it and then we did um uh, chromes and we did marble nails and then now we do crystal placement which is like um dragon scale if you do a different background it will give you a different look underneath so it might look similar like what i'm doing but it might be a little bit different okay so here for 60 seconds I'm gonna adjust him quick before I'm keying. You know what? Let me see if I can find another bar right there. I'm gonna do another one right there. Great. It looks complete now. Great, everyone. Here for 60 seconds, keep it flat. And then if we're working with a dragon scale, if you feel like it's a halo side, that's how you're gonna place it on the nails. 